Because I don't like Joe. That's why I try and avoid him. Yeah. And the gang's now back together. Now Ryan has put up on me. So <laughs> sorry about that. Just... Yeah. <laughs> he just didn't take it very well. I love Joe, really. It's fine. Yeah, well, you know, we'll take it one step at a time, Ryan. It's all right. It's fine. It's all good. Oh, we'll okay. So he's, fi- he's we'll fighting ch- back. We'll have a chat, back. chat afterwards. It's all right. We'll have a little sne- sneaky chat afterwards. Uh-huh. That's yeah. what I like. Here you go. A bit of, bit of tension on the nation. Right. So, we're not really talking about who's up. I presume Ryan's come empty handed with no topic whatsoever. <laughs> You know me. You, you know right, me well. On, you meant to be like you've been off for a couple of weeks. You come with, with, with a basket full of stuff. And for yeah. for the for the behind the scene, we are we are stacking. So we're recording a couple today. So I think I should do one, and you should do one, Joe. Who goes first? Uh, I don't mind going. Oh, I don't know. Can I do this though? Because if you watch what I asked you no. to watch, like, what what in uh, the last twenty four hours while planning to go on holiday for two weeks? No, I have not watched it. Oh, could it? Oh. You asked us to watch a video. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So. Did you have an idea that we just watch it and then you do a preempt and then we do yeah, an after? Yeah, didn't you say, or... aren't you going to talk us through it and say what you think and then we'll watch it and we'll do a second Is that a good idea though? Because then that influences your view, right? That's fine. Anyway. That's good. Let's go with it. Let's. You lead us through this and then we'll do a follow-up show later. Nation, you can see we've planned this out well. It is like well, clockwork. Well, you throw me now because I wasn't sure. Anyway. Uh, me to go well, I could do the... I could why go the regrets. Why doesn't Lee go? Why doesn't Lee go first, and then you watch the video, or we watch the video in between, and then you do? Oh Joe's. no, no, no! It's like an hour-long video. It's not a two-minute thing. Oh, hundred percent not watching that. <laughs> Let me do. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. All right. Okay. So everyone's left now. No one's listening. So let's carry on anyway. Uh, yes. Yeah, so yeah, it's all your fault, Lee. Right. Um, so what we're going to do is we talk about the five regrets of the dime. We did. We did regret one. So if you're watching, we did regret one. Um, and that was, I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself. So regret two of the dying is, I wish I hadn't worked so hard. So that's regret two. So I can give you a bit of a story on this because I know when I joined a company, when I was early in my career, I worked long, long, long hours. I worked at the weekend um and i was working so much it was crazy i really enjoyed because i wanted to get far you know you want to get your career wants to be launching and stuff like that but when i look back on that episode that that time we were a startup it was really hard and um because i think startups are really hard because you've got to put a lot of effort in get traction you know you've got a lot of work on um anyway cut a long story short i worked weekends worked long hours it was before i met lee and it was crazy absolutely crazy and the problem what i found was where where i was working it was a start it was a start but what i was doing the reason i was working so hard was also to keep up with stuff but really i was disguising the real need for resources as well so there were two things it wasn't good great for me though i did want to get further so it still probably was good for me because there was a good thing about you work hard you know you, you want to get on but it's the other end of the coin that, you know, it's not good for you because you sacrifice a lot of things like, you know, you've got your family relationships and stuff like that. So did I sacrifice? I mean, they, they probably did suffer a little bit because I'd spend a lot of time. Um, but at the same time, you know, I do look back at that and think, oh, should I have done that? So I think that's the question. So have you got any regrets around that working too hard? And definitely for now, for, what about you? What, what do you think around that? Bill Gates, uh, Bill Gates said something about this this week, Ooh, I think. Topical. He said, he said he wished he hadn't worked so hard in his life. Um, what did he actually say? What, so what was the? I don't. I no. I only saw a tagline. I didn't see an article. I think oh, wow. he said. I think he said he worked too much uh, throughout his throughout his life when he was younger. I mean, I'll get myself out of the way. I don't really have much because I don't feel like I'm old enough to have worked my life away. All these kids today. Um, I can. I've, I've always been aware of having a work-life balance and we've spoken before about you know compartmentalization and things like that and i feel like i do that quite well so i feel like i can work hard at work but not have it affect me excuse me but you don't know if it's going to affect you until it affects you right so i can say to you now say to you now i'm fine but in 10 years time i could be you know completely disheveled and a shell of the man i am today so right now it feels like it's okay um but as long as i think i'm alive to that and conscious of that then it's something that i can try and prevent probably the word i'd use this is why I want to bring this forward because, you know, if, if people are saying this when they're on their deathbed, we need to be looking at this right now. And it's, and, and actually, it'd be nicer to have had these at your age, Ryan, you know, your young, tender age. Um, Slightly creepy. I'm only getting older. I'm only getting older. 
Yeah, yeah, but you're young. And I mean, the thing is, the thing is that whole thing that age is right. When are we the right <laughs> age? Too, I think we're too young, we're too old. We're, like never creepy, right age, right? we're never the right age, right? We're never the right bloody age, right? Jay, Jay, so Jay, 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 Jose, right Jose, just quickly, just quickly, please never refer to Ryan as tender again. Why not? Because he's tender, bit... Ryan. Tender, 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 he, tender, tender. He even, tender. Me, he even makes me feel weird. I like, oh, I like it now, actually. Carry on. <laughs> Too much. You had so much exposure to it. Now you like it anyway. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, I think this is really why, why I think it's really important in this subject is because you know, through looking through the lens of death, essentially, you know, what are the things you want to focus on? So I've always, you know, focused on the things that you want to achieve and want to achieve, right? So what is it? You know, being really super clear on that and diving into that. So. You know, when these people work hard, what we're talking about, we just want to work hard at what we love, or we're just working hard at work that we may not know love, but we're just working hard because we want to get on or climb that ladder. Is it the right ladder? So I'm really super clear now what I want to achieve in my life, but it's actually come a lot later. And I, and I was saying even last week, I was saying, you know, or was it the week before last because we got a recording, but um, it was that I, I sometimes wish I'd had that knowledge now so I could do it but then i had to go through those things to get to the thing that i wanted to get to which is a really weird thing uh because you think you have to go through bad experiences to get to the place where you think oh i really do love this actually this is the thing i really love so yeah i think there's definitely something in it and i don't want to look back on my deathbed and go oh I, I, you know i wish i had worked so hard because i want to invest enough time in my relationships and the people that i'm with and the people that i love and that work isn't the most important thing it's things that you're passionate about the people that you love the people that um are close to you making sure we invest in those relationships are really really important to me um so i don't want to be going hey uh, to my beloved or my children i'm, I'm not going to be with you because i'm going to work and i think i don't know i wonder what that bill gates thing is actually because that'd be interesting to know actually ryan but um yeah that that was a, a really good call and i think actually going for age ryan i, I don't think i don't think you can be any age you could be any age you go crazy on your work um but this is why we should have it now we should be looking at this right now so we can make those dis good decisions for us right now but yeah i like that ryan Lee. Uh... All right. I'm trying, find, I'm trying to find out, actually. While you're looking There's that a... up, Ryan, I will just and I'll. I've got a view here, Joe, but I also want to question you with it because I think you. You talked about having an experience where you're looking back and thinking you did do that too much. So this is a a work life balance thing. Um, so what ideally does that look like to you? What was wrong, and what should it have looked like? It's a really good question, actually. Um, well, I just. So what was wrong? Sorry, what was it again? Can you repeat the question for me? So, so what you, you're saying that you work too much. Yeah. So what is so 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 that's the problem. So really, if we if we're giving advice and wisdom to the world, what should what what should that look like? How do you not work too much? You. It's a really good question, because at the minute at that time I really did want to get on. Ah, um, so. <clears throat> So this this leads in. However, Sorry, doing however, okay. okay, you go however, for your bit first, and then I'll give yeah, you. Yeah, the but however, yeah, yeah, I did want to get on, but at the same time, there were sacrifices that I made that I think I, I lost things. Like, you know, not that I lost a lot, but um, I think I could have had you know maybe more fun times with my beloved. You know, I suppose. But would I be here right now had I not done that? Those are all the questions you you could never answer. What should it look like? It should really be that you should work um, hard when it actually does make a big difference. Um, I don't think even me working hard, I think I got to the point of working so hard that it actually wasn't making a difference. And actually I was covering things up. For me working hard, it covered up the things that needed to be addressed and they weren't being addressed. So to get it right, you do have to work hard, but you also need to be able to raise the things that need to be raised to make sure that wherever you're working, whoever you work yourself, whoever knows knows what needs to be addressed to make it more effective and efficient yeah because it wasn't efficient it, it, it definitely was not efficient it was just get into there and actually after from i think it was inefficient because i worked so hard it actually it actually the, 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 there was diminishing returns and that's i don't know if that answers your question it does and well it opened a lot of good doors there because i think there's this it's too blunt a statement just to say I regret working too much because there are layers and layers and layers to this. And I won't dive down. I'll dive down the one I wanted to, but we'll touch on some others because this is almost like give us a whole load of other topics to talk about. And one thing mm. he talks about there, there's, there's a massive difference between being busy and being efficient. Huge Productive. difference. Huge, huge difference between those two things. Um, and actually 
there's a challenge in there of you know, did you work too much and not saying you as a generalism did you work too much or did you just do the wrong things while you were working is is time the problem or is it something else and where this leads me to is you know like you were talking about is is it you know you just make sure i use time tradition analogies on this but are you doing your seven hours a day and making sure that's what you do and you get it done and then you focus on outside time and that is every day every day every day every day or is it bigger than that is there a bigger picture here so i i same as you joe i had a period of my life where i worked significant time significant hours and during all of that I bet there was a huge time where I probably was busy rather than productive, but I learned to become more productive. And, you know, there's again, there's all the layers to all of that. But there was a period in my life where I worked significant volumes of time because I wanted to get on. Now, I believe those things enabled me to get on and are why I have the setup in my life I have right now. And... I also believe that if I didn't put in the time when I did, and again, you can go back and argue and say, well, could I have done it with 80% of what I did instead of 100% or blah, 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 blah. But if I wasn't prepared to invest the time, and I do, we talked about this before, time being a currency, and I chose to invest my time to get to a point, I don't think I would be where I am now. And without going into all the details, parts of where I am now, both from a time and a financial perspective, allow me to do things that allow me to enjoy my time in a certain way that I don't think I'd have been able to do if I hadn't have made that investment in time to get where I am, if that makes sense. So actually, is it I wish I hadn't have worked so much each day or do you need to look at it as a whole? Because what I wouldn't, if I'd have worked at the pace I was working up until I'm 65, that'd be crazy because where's the reward off the back of it? You just do it through. But if it's to lead you to pace, it's, it's like a sliding scale. So is there times when your currency of time is more in one area and you do, like you said, Joe, make sacrifices, but it's for an end result? Because I don't, I don't think you do... You have to make sacrifices at a certain point to get... And not just time to get in work, in life, in everything. Everything's a choice. You only have so many hours and you choose where to spend it and something has to give. But... I think it's a, I think it's a sliding scale, and I and I just think it's dangerous to have the blunt message of I wish I hadn't worked so much because is that you know do I wish I'd have started scaling back at thirty or forty or fifty rather than getting to sixty or genuinely did I do it and it was all for nothing and I wish I'd spent more time? There's there's so many different interpretations of that message, and I think it's different for everyone because yeah, so what, in the Sorry, just going to say quickly in the book, it does say these, you know, some of these people are working up until, like you said, like eight later life, like they were literally committed to work. So they actually struggled. The struggle for them was actually to let go of work. Like yeah. they wanted to work because actually that, but then that, they, then they regretted the, you know, the, the relations with their, with their children, their, you know, the spouses, because actually what happens, they didn't get, get, get to know them. And then they passed on that sort of thing to their children. And then there was the relationship suffered because of, and that's it. Is the sacrifice too great for the reward? Yeah. So it's it, it's, it's it is a very personal choice. Go on, Ryan's going to say it's so easy retrospectively to say you work too hard mm. or you work too much. So easy to say because you you're always going to look back. If the decision is right at the time you make it, then is it wrong later? If if at the time, based on what's presented to you, you make a decision to work or work hard or play hard, right? We we'll use that as the analogy. And the the decision you come to is that working hard is the right way to go. Then twenty years down the line, when hindsight's twenty twenty, of course you might change your view on that. But you can only be judged based on the decisions that you make at the time you make them. In a you know, if a lot of people would change the way they live their life. So it's a very very broad and easy statement to say. And I agree with you. There are so many layers to it that I think it's just a much it's a much deeper question than than you know are we working too much or too hard as as people because again if it feels right now then it's right to do now you can't i can't sit here at 27 28 and be like oh in 30 years time am i going to regret working so hard at this because the answer right now is obviously no because i have goals and aims i want to achieve by the time i'm 30 years older than where i am now and I'm not going to get there by taking my foot 20% off of the, the pedal. I'm going to get there by keeping my foot where I am, if not pressing harder to make sure I get there. It's very easy to say, I wish I'd had more leisure time. I wish I'd spent more leisure time in my life. And it's completely understandable why people would say that. In my view, 
maybe a little short-sighted based on a, a small parameter of things maybe a little but that's maybe that's my young person view maybe when i'm your age i might look at that as a completely bigger spectrum but right now it's i have goals and aims i want to be able to buy a house i want to be able to go on holiday two three times a year you know whatever i want to be able to start a family comfortably i want to be able to not have to stress around money i want to be able to achieve what i want in my career and right now the way i achieve those things is by working hard in 30 years time i might say cool that holiday we had to antigua was terrible i should really i shouldn't really have worked that hard for six months but it's so <laughs> easy to say in retrospect right it's so easy to say in hindsight yeah but again think, my view my view on that might change well, think, when i'm at your age I, 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 yeah and i think i think the whole point of this is that i think we should encourage people to look through the lens if you are you know if you were just imagine yourself on your deathbed like fast forward your life like to the end and go actually it's something i do encourage I think, I think, actually, 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 actually it's one of my children i say if you're going to regret something fast forward to the end of your life and go would i regret that see right then, now i don't i don't think i would because well there you go well that's because it's, that's fine that's because good it's the, because it's the right it's the right decision now that's a good yeah yeah i can't hate myself or be annoyed at myself for a decision i make 30 years ago if i think 30 years ago it's the right decision yeah and i think as long as we're looking through that lens i think that's the right decision right? yeah not regret it. if you're not, you're not going to regret it i think that's a really good test yeah i, I found that oh sorry go on Rob. I found that Bill Gates article when you're ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll perfect. just say on that and then we go to the article. And it's just, I suppose to say, and it might be the way I interpreted the message as well, Joe, but I think it's, for some people, like I said, that there are layers and that regret may be there. I just think it's something that exists, you know, there, there's there's often, you, you can't get it right. If you don't work enough, you get judged. If you work too much, you get judged. If you do this sort of job, you get judged. If you don't, whatever. And it's, I Let's guess get away from the judgment, Luke. But that's Let's it. Get that's away what I mean. It's, <laughs> It's the importance of people being comfortable with where that position sits. And, and I think it's far more what you got out of the time you spent or more what you didn't get out of the time you spent that you probably regret than the time. Mm. Yeah, that's why I there think is, that lens is a good lens. There are yeah, certain yeah. decisions humans make where or we make in our lives where we instantly regret the decision we make. And then there'll be mm. decisions we make where we regret them at a medium length. Time, there'll be decisions we make that we regret at a long period of time if you spend your life worrying about what you're going to regret down the line then you're not really going to live your life at all there's that regret i have from offering out to start a podcast with this guy called jose once upon a time that's a strong one that was instant well, regret just fast forward your life yeah and make the decision yeah <laughs> look through the and then and then i regret lee talking me into helping run the podcast no, I'm joking. But here we are. Um, We're slogging through. It's all right. we'll have, a, have a debrief. I'll, let me, I'll have, don't worry, TikTok. We'll have a sure. chat with these guys. After. I'll, prim, I'll pull them into line. Don't you worry. So, uh, this Bill Gates article, a lot of it's paraphrased, but I'll just read it at you. Bill Gates said that he didn't realise until he got older and became a father that there is more to life than work. He's quoted as saying, when I was your age, I didn't believe in holidays. He used the word vacations, but I refuse to do that. <laughs> Gates told graduates of North, Northern Arizona University in a commencement speech on Saturday... I didn't believe in weekends. I pushed everyone around me to work very long hours. The billionaire who dropped out of Harvard University after three semesters to launch Microsoft uh, told graduates, you are not a slacker if you cut yourself some slack. Uh, he goes on to say, don't wait as long as I did to learn this lesson. Take time to nurture your relationships, to celebrate your successes and to recover from your losses. Take a break when you need to and take it easy on the people around you when they need it as well. In the past, Gates has acknowledged that he had high expectations when it came to employees' work ethic he would send critical flame mails in the middle of the night. When I was at Microsoft, I was tough on people I worked with. Some of it helped us be successful, but I'm sure some of it was over the top. You probably feel a lot of pressure right now to make the right decisions about your career, he told graduates. It might feel like these decisions are permanent. They are not. What you do tomorrow or for the next 10 years do not, does not have to be what you do forever. You are graduating at a time of immense opportunity to help people. New industries and companies are emerging every day that will allow you to make a living by making a difference. And advances in science and technology have made it easier than ever to make a big impact. I really Please. love that. I don't know, I just love all that. It's so it's inspiring to me. I, I think, I love it. yeah, I think I there's it. some great advice in there. Obviously, as an employer, there's some real red flags going on with some of the stuff he said as well, <laughs> but from a different time. Um, yeah, but I mean, I think I think the whole thing with the employer, you, you inspire people, right? Because you want to work for a for a, for a company who's doing good things, right? Yeah, not not the I one who that, sends you hate employer. mail at midnight. Anyway, carry on, I, mean, I interrupted you. I interrupted saying, you. Sorry, not the one who sends you hate mail at midnight. That's probably more of a concern. <laughs> there's a, don't get me wrong. I, there's some great advice in there. You know, we've talked about. It's a lot about mindfulness and work-life balance and you know making sure you're doing things that 
fulfill you more than anything else and that's a big strong part of the message similarly i know this will be a bit critical but i think it's very easy for the billionaire once he's become a billionaire to tell people take it easy there's more to life this is what i mean this is what i mean even even you know joe's not a billionaire but even at joe's perspective of life it's very easy to retrospectively say i worked too hard or i should have done this or i should have done that because you're looking at you're looking at with rose tinted glasses and as with hindsight being your best friend at the time you made these decisions joe and at the time i make these decisions i don't have the benefit of being able to look back and say oh i wish i'd done this differently this life's not as simple as that yeah and this is why i think you know this is why these are really good conversations right because it makes us think about these things irrespective yeah. of what we think is right wrong doesn't really matter like you said ryan it's absolutely right it's a real personal choice and i think if we can use these tools and things to look at it in that way we we are critically thinking about what we're doing and not just you know which which i wouldn't i wouldn't be having this conversation when i was doing that i didn't really think oh i'll work hard i just wanted to achieve these things and i'd be it'd be like an yeah. it's not it's not like i considered it yeah i didn't i didn't think about oh fast forward my life to the end of life will i regret it i didn't think i was just like i'm going like yeah there's no thought about it. it's no co- it's almost I, like i used to work hard right it was like it wasn't even a it wasn't I don't, I don't even, I just, it was naturally something I, I thought i had to do yeah, I don't go to work now thinking, cool, I'm going to work really hard today. I go to work now thinking I need to achieve, achieve X, Y, Z. Mm. And then over a month period, I, I say I need to achieve A, B, C. And then, you know, when these things fall into place, new things come along or new challenges come along and I work at them. I don't mm. I don't think many people, if at all, any people sit there and say, I'm going to work really hard today so that when I'm in, when I'm in my mid-60s, I can take my foot off the gas and, you know, achieve and feel like I've achieved things in life. You just do what, well, at least I definitely try and live in the moment as much as i can and hope that future me is satisfied with the decisions i made yeah i love that because you know i, th- I think you know if we can have that conscious thought right now i think is a good thing like we, we like we're considering it i think that's a really good and this discussion is what we're saying to our audience you know, consider it just have a think about it the other thing i was going to say about simon scribb wasn't it because he, he's a multimillionaire. he sold his company fluid for multi-million pounds we interviewed him on the podcast but but even him he's like he not that he's never said he regretted it, but he says it's hard to set up a business. But once you set it up and it's running, he said it gets easier over time. And that's where that, so, that's where that that effort of time comes in. You know, seeing mm. the re- and the reward's different for different people. When I say reward, people go to money, but that's not necessarily it. It's you know, do you want to build something? Do you want to achieve something? Mm. Do you want to leave this legacy behind? Do you want do you want to be able to do this experience? There's there's so many different things that drive, and it's different for everyone and i think it's again it's just that it all does come back to the time you put in but is are you going to get out of it what's needed and it needs different levels of effort at different times yeah and i think for me on this as well is that i think we've got to be clear on the goals we want to achieve what is important to us right now so is it you know also look at you know what in your whole life what what are your relationships like at the moment do you need to work hard at those right that could be a different type of work but you you may work in half in different areas so i think it's really being clear on your goals and what you want to achieve and and what's the price you're willing to pay? You know, what is that price? And then I say, fast forward to the end of, you know, imagine you're at the end of your life. I mean, it could happen. Well, we know that life can end just like that. I mean, I might not be here tomorrow. Who knows? But it's important. Like, I think, Ryan, like you said, is like living in the moment, being aware of these things is really, really critical. But being super clear on where you want to be because that will drive the actions. Um, yeah, I think that's um, a really good point. So thank you, guys. Yeah, I love that. Anything else from you guys on this? I just, this has been, and I always enjoy these, but this has been one of my favourite topics in a while. This is a really good thought-provoking one. And it's because I'm back. Ironically, Ryan's here and it's still a good podcast, which, you know, <laughs> we, as we said last week, Joe, we didn't think would be the case. Well, you know, add, you know Ryan's added added the third dimension, three dimensions, a dim- a multiverse. A, a dimension of somebody that's still in their 20s. Oh, I love those it. are the days. I love it. I don't, I don't remember the 20s. It's so long ago. Now, you, such a long you time. remember the 20s. Oh, yes. Yeah. We're, we're in the, the 20s. No, the, the Joe's 20s were the 90s. 20s. 20s. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lee's attempt at jokes. That's yeah. great. <laughs> Burnt by Joe. What's going on? This is a strange world. Right. Because Ryan's back. He's inspiring me. We're trailing off. We're trailing off. We'll do some wrapping well, yeah, up. We get Everyone, back on it. we appreciate everyone out there in the nation, wherever you are listening to us. Please hit subscribe, leave a review, hit that five star button. It all helps us in those algorithms. Tell people, tell people to listen to us. Just give us a go, see if they like it. And of course, YouTube and TikTok, Jose Noy, Inspiration Nation. Hit subscribe. You can watch us live each and every week. In fact, today we are doing a double header. So we are recording now 
and we will be recording straight after this as well and you can get two shows for the price of one fantastic can i stuff. just can i just say something so it's when we laugh on tiktok could i just say it? it's i don't know it's t thank you t for it this is what price are you willing to pay mr jose <laughs> <laughs> Um, and one other thing I wanted to do, because we haven't done it for a while, actually. I think we've, we've forgotten it off the off the format. What's our big takeaways from the conversation in today? Just make sure you make the right decision now. If a decision is right for you now, then you can't be annoyed at yourself in the future for making it. Treat, yes. treat your time like money. And you, don't, Ooh, have, you I... don't have to save it. You can spend it, but spend it wisely. Yeah, you never get it back, right? That's the thing. You can never get it back. That's the problem with time, isn't it? Um, mine is just look through the lens. Imagine you are on your deathbed and then look at, look at your time through that lens. That's what I would do. Yes, there you go. That's my big takeaway. I do try and do that. But interrupted my shilling, but you know, you're just taking over. Like you're... Oh, did I? Sorry, I thought you finished the shilling. No, it's... Oh, do you want to shilling then? No, I'm done now. I'm done. Forget it. You don't even know oh. what I do anymore. Look at him. Oh, Twitter, oh, we are dear. at listen to IN, listen to IN, and of course go to www. What am I? in. It's because I've seen lots of videos what? talking about it's actually quicker to say World Wide right. Web than WWW. Is it? In my head. Is that all? That's interesting. But, it's, like, that. it's like we're back in the mid-90s. <laughs> if you put into your web browser HTTPS double dot dash dash www dot inspiration nation all one word dot org dot you. Well, those were all things people used to say when it first came out about the internet. Yeah. All one word. I listened to... <laughs> I listen to radio. I listen to Radio One, and they um, quite often, not often, but sometimes play um, a, a clip of Pete Tong in 1994 reading out their website, and it's about a 45 second <laughs> clip of him reading this website. That is how I it was, it. right? You never had to live through that. But yeah, inspirationnation.org.uk shop merchandise, all that good stuff. See what you do if you just keep going. Joe just backs off again before trying to butt in. He's had too much coffee. It's decaf, by the way. But yeah, needs, I was just going to... I'll tell me what I was going to say. Go on, Ryan. You're gonna, go on, you button now. Go on. Needs to be more, <laughs> needs to be more uh, decaf. 100%. Yeah, I, I'm, and I'm, on that I, note... I don't go... I, on that yeah. note, I'm going to count us down. We'll be back again next week. Unless you're watching us live, we'll be back again in five minutes. Oh, yeah. Go on. Three, two, one. Inspiration Nation. Inspiration Nation. Catch you guys later. Catch you guys later. Let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below and I'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment I make to you in this community. Also, don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this Inspiration Nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free. And also, don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell, then you're going to know when another videos go live. And don't forget to check out these videos right here next to me because those are other podcast episodes that can really help you out. I really, really appreciate it. And lastly, don't forget out to check the newsletter. The link is in the description below. That's where I can talk directly to you without through the YouTube, throughout the social, because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with Inspiration Nation, ask me questions and even give me suggestions on what you want us to talk about next. So I'd love to see you in the next video. So please click on those links. Please follow through. Please let's get this community building. I appreciate you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video, Inspiration Nation, and I'll catch you guys later.